Hey, what's up? My name is Trey Little, and I will be doing an unboxing of the. Oops, I'll be doing an unboxing of the AirPods by Apple. It's the first generation. The second ones are coming out, um, or teased to be coming out, maybe in about two weeks. So I'm not really an unbox channel. So what I like to do is like purchase things and then unbox them and then kind of vlog the rest of my day. If you hear sounds in the background, it's my son or my pit bulls, and I live in Detroit, Michigan, so you might hear some, I don't know, fast cars riding by or some people yelling or anything. So um, anyways, I'm not like unbox therapy or anything, but I really like unbox therapy. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna unbox these boys and then we gonna move forward. Also, my son has been raised around me doing music, so he loves to like jump in and throw yo-yos or ad-libs in because I keep him with me all the time. and. I can tell he loves music now, so um, yeah, so that's why he'll throw in ad libs every now and then. Whenever I'm recording, he'll do that all the time, or writing music or recording vocals. So, all right. So first, when you open them, it got like the pamphlet. So it's really not much to this. Like I did the Osmo unbox, there was a lot more. So I already unboxed these before. It's just the paper um, that I had to put back on it because I wanted to put it back in there to kind of like, go over the unboxing, but I've already been using these and everything, so I just kinda wanted to redo everything. So, um, you got the box, which is really dope, really light, really cool, and then you got two AirPods that automatically sync and connect when you take them out to your phone or uh, laptop or device, iPad, and then you got the light that shows you how much it's been charged. Then they fit here really well. Um, not gonna put both of them in, because they might connect to my phone, but some people complain that they don't fit in, right? Um, or fit in and they fall out, but for me, that's not the case. Um, they fit in my ears pretty well. So let's see. They say if like the old ones fit in your ear, like the ones with the strings, then these will fit in your ear. Then I got the little pamphlet or whatever. I'm not too worried about the pamphlets. Uh, I don't know why they don't have any stickers. I like stickers. I could have put some on my studio gear. Um, and then you got a charger, which is like the micro USB charger that goes to the phone. Um, cool thing about that is like I keep collecting these things because chargers get really expensive. So um, I, I think they're like twenty dollars. So uh, and then you can get the five below ones if you get low on it. So it's cool to keep stocking up on these chargers. So, anyways, that's really it. I like them. I'm a tech guy, so like I really like getting new technology. I might actually trade these back in and get the second generation, just because I still have like my uh, warranty or whatever, and I just literally purchased these. So if the second generation come out, I might get those in time. I um, really like these and I travel a lot so I'm gonna be able to take them with me and I'll be doing more videos about this just like talking about them and stuff when I do my vlog so make sure you subscribe and stuff like that so now I'm gonna show my vlog and the concerts that I did um, so sit back and enjoy that and yeah make sure you subscribe for more this and rehearse and all that uh yo this stage setup is phenomenal like oh my gosh like, we about to have some fun like i did not know what to expect and this is blowing my mind right now get ready to set my banner up the banner up. I 
I've been done. I was, that was just, y'all killing it, bro. I didn't want to stop. That was so dope, by the way. Michigan. Um, this is my hometown and I travel for a living and perform all around the country um, music that I write out of my bedroom and I get to take it to the rest of the world. So I want to share some of that music with y'all tonight. I got a couple songs I'm going to do um, before we turn the floor over to my boy Coda. Make some noise for Coda, by the way. Um, I just want to thank him for having me out. Um, and we're about to have a good night. So what I like to do with my music is uh, just teach people the song so they can participate. But I'm gonna start off with a warm up song. If I ain't trying to drive me crazy, I'm trying to find a light and I'm looking for it daily. Some nights feel alone, nowhere to call home. Some tell me I'm wrong, the world keep moving on. I've been looking and I've been trying to find a way out. Everywhere I turn, these people got their hands out. So to be able to, I just did a winter jam and it was 10,000 people there and I was looking like, how in the world am I here? A lot of my homies are either dead or in jail and how in the world am I playing at an arena right now? And I just believe that we are all created to do something great. So what I wanted, what I wanted to do with this song is take this song to reflect my neighborhood and my community and I want to share it with the rest of the world and say, I made it out but a lot of my homies did it. So this song is called War Zone. So I want y'all to help me sing it. When I say street life like a war zone, I want y'all to sing it with me. So um, I'm going to point the mic at y'all and all y'all need to know is street life like a war zone. And I just want to share my story. So when I say they chase that life, but I don't really think they want it. They chase that life, but I don't really think they want it. I want y'all to say street life like a war zone. <laughs> And it was crazy. So many opportunities opened up. I started working with a lot of people I look up to. I get back to my Airbnb and I get a call and somebody's like, yo, your stepdad got shot. And I was like, what you mean he got shot? And I'm like, hold on, is he okay? They said, I think so. So I call my mom and she's on the phone bawling. It's like, he's dead, he's gone. And my heart dropped after one of the biggest moments of my life. And I remember breaking down in my Airbnb and I was like, yo, I can't believe this is happening. He just told me to never quit. He just told me not to give up. And I just remember him saying, it was almost like he knew. Trey, I know I'm living in this war and I know I'm living in this dangerous lifestyle and something might happen to me. He, he might have been beefed out with some guys, but he just said, never give up and continue to do this and continue to let kids know everywhere you go 
that there's something better than these streets and something better than the darkness that, that we, we had to go through in order to sacrifice to have a better life. So I made this song called Never Quit. And I do this for him. Like I said, this is still fresh. I still feel this pain every day. This happened like three months ago. So this song just reminds me to never stop and to continue to go and to make, to carry on that legacy to know that he didn't die in vain, that the sacrifice he made for me, I'm gonna keep taking this message around the world and give hope to everybody that needs it. So this song is called Never Quit. So I'm gonna teach y'all the song. So whenever I point the microphone at y'all, I want y'all to say, I'll never quit, I'll never quit. But I want y'all to sing it like y'all promising y'all selves that y'all will never give up. Raise your hand if you got a dream in here. If you got a dream to do something great. When y'all sing this song, I want y'all to promise y'all selves that y'all would never quit chasing after that no matter what and give up and just do something normal and let, the, and let people around you tell you that you'll never be great because I believe it. This same kid that came from Dexter and Linwood that was raised by drug lords get to do what he loves. And I like to encourage everybody to be able to do that. So when I say, um, my cup ain't overflow, I'm about to take a sip. About to hit the beat and then let it rip. I want y'all to say, I'll never quit. I'll never quit. And then, I'll never quit. I'll never quit. So I want y'all to practice it with me. But like I said, I want y'all to sing it like y'all promising y'all selves that y'all will never give up. So let's try that again. My cup ain't overflow. I'm about to take a sip. About to hit the beat and then let it rip. Y'all turn. What? I'll never quit. I'll never quit. One more time. I'll never quit. I'll never quit. Let's do it. Come on. Storehouse Studio. Like I said, when this beat drop, we need to go crazy. Come on, yeah. I believe everything we got through make us stronger. Y'all believe that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I come in overflow, I'm about to take a step. About to hit the beat and then let it rip.